Hello guys welcome back to our anime moments. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Swallowed Star based on novel. So let's start. Black Dragon Mountain Island 9 Star Bay District, Luo Fong's home entrance, Luo Fong sat face to face with the silver haired old man Bu Durasuka, you have achieved three victories in three battles. Right now the entire Black Dragon Mountain Island is filled with discussions about you. The silver-haired old man laughed, within this virtual universe network, many entertainment programs and newscasts are all keeping an eye on you. Luo Fong laughed. Even while sitting at home, they could hear the people's cheers from the bars outside. These were all from the victories of Luo Fong. Due to these victories, there were large drunken celebrations all over, Lord Bu Durasuka, I'm pretty sure you came here not just to tell me these. Luo Feng smiled as he looked at the silver-haired old man, I bring word from his majesty. The silver-haired old man looked at Luo Feng, in tomorrow's fourth match, as long as you win, you will receive a slot. His majesty is hoping that you will prepare well and not get careless. After all, your opponent is very strong, I know. Luo Feng nodded, an image of his opponent appeared in his mind. That messy-haired barefooted savage youth, defeat him. Luo Feng thought within. Gunwu Universe Country, within a vast star field. A D6 disc-shaped universe ship was stopped on the moon of a mineral planet, within one of its resting rooms. A barefooted, messy-haired three-meter-tall man, carrying two short blades set cross-legged on the alloy surface ground within the room. He looked up a photo hung on the wall. It was a black scruffy-looking punk with arms around the shoulders of a tall and sturdy man, father. This savage youth was quietly looking at the photo, muttering, even though you aren't my birth father, however the savage youth gritted his teeth, saying softly, I, too man, swear, I will definitely, definitely kill that bastard. Definitely. His eyes were filled with a bone-chilling gleam, almost like a hungry, mad lone wolf, he is an undying, he is the emperor that built an empire, however I will definitely, I will definitely kill him. Father, just watch, I will rush into the top 1000 in this genius battle and enter the virtual universe company. Even becoming the strongest within my generation in the virtual universe company. Savage said softly, and on the day I kill him, it will be the day I will regain the name to man. It's madman, that madman has come, quickly flee. The black-haired youth in the dark grey armour walked coldly down the alley. A golden swordfish recklessly slaughtered a group of geniuses, their bodies flew about, fresh blood staining the silent alley. The elimination stage footage of Luo Feng slaughtering were continuously played to him, the absolute genius that has struck fear among countless geniuses, so much so they call him Madman, Luo Feng. He had been hiding his strength all the while and only unleashing his true weapon the Nanshan armament in the arena wars and winning every battle. Only one word could describe him, invincible, savage, I admit I'm not your match, I don't wish to battle against you, even if you don't wish to, you still have to. A thick powerful voice resounded, that barefooted, 3M tall savage immediately closed the distance between them. The blade in his hand seemed light as he swung it. The blow however seemed to conceal the weight of heavy mountains behind it, immediately blowing away the opponent's defense and killing him on the spot. The savage Rome Jun's every slaughter scene too was constantly broadcasted to him, relying just on his strength, has caused countless warriors to tremble, the one called savage, Rome Jun. From the elimination stage to the arena wars, wielding the battle knife, killing all targets, Till now there hasn't been anyone capable of resisting him, the two of them. Madman Luo Feng and Savage Rong Jun, in this fourth round of the arena duels will engage in a much anticipated fight on island number 00001 inch 1 Madman, 1 Savage, who's stronger, will it be Madman continue his winning streak or will Savage kill this Madman, everything will be decided then. The highly anticipated match of the fourth round, the two pinnacle geniuses fight a broadcast of about 15 minutes long appeared at the top of the virtual universe company's Gunwoo station page. 
Only the virtual universe company would have been able to get such footage from that first round. The moment that broadcast came out, it immediately resulted in countless in the Gamble universe downloading it and swiftly spreading it throughout the universe country. Eruption Countless people from the Gunwoo Universe country rushed and fought to buy tickets for the battle. Even though the fourth round of the arena duels had many matchups, the one that people were truly waiting to watch was this 49th match. This 49th match was a battle between geniuses who had stepped through the gateway of the origin laws. In terms of power, the madman Luo Feng and the savage Rong Jun were both well known. Their battle was arranged to be on island number 00001. The ticket prices were extremely expensive too. However the number of people who were actually trying to buy these tickets was an enormous number as well. Especially since that special broadcast was released, the names Madman and Savage spread immediately throughout the trillion galaxies. This video had made countless people anticipate the battle. The time had finally come, China time year 2066, July 26. Within the virtual universe where the huge axe dojo had opened a space, island number 00001, a battle between absolute pinnacle warriors was about to happen. The participants were Madman Luo Feng and Savage Rong Jun, Madman, Savage, Luo Feng, Rong Jun. The entire dojo's one billion seats were filled to the brim. The battle hadn't even begun, but the footage broadcasted on a big screen in the center of the arena had already caused the countless spectators to cheer and roar for the warriors they supported. Especially the Black Dragon Mountain Empire and the Golden Sword Empire, the spectators from these empires were shouting with pride for their own empire. Simultaneously, within the preparation room, Luo Feng was again wearing the dark gray armor and carrying a dark golden long rod. There were only two seats in this preparation room. A passionate staffer appeared beside and pointed at a seat as he spoke, Mr. Luo Feng, please rest here. The battle is about to begin soon. Luo Feng nodded and walked towards the seat and sat down. In his ears, he clearly heard the roars and cheers that resembled a tsunami, a human silhouette appeared. Luo Feng opened his eyes to look. It was a tall and sturdy, still barefooted, messy-haired man. However, just from him standing there, he gave off a formless energy and strength. It was almost as though he was the heavens and land itself, and this natural abundance of power and energy made Luo Feng crease his eyebrows. When I saw him before, it was from a distance in the arena. And from footage, I didn't expect that within his person, the energy and aura is that strong. That strength itself directly affects his character. Living beings had auras. If one's aura became incomparably strong, it would make others detect it easily, and it was strong enough to be called energy. Energy, this was a very broad term. For example the normal people on earth with their thin and frail bodies, if they met a tall and sturdy and intimidating bandit, they could feel the pressure the enemy brought, strong willpower solid determination, strength, etc., all this contribute to the energy. Like Luo Feng, if the current him were to quietly train in the wilderness of earth, he would naturally emit an oppressing willpower. No matter how powerful the beasts were, they wouldn't dare approach him, Mr. Rong Jun, please rest here, the battle is about to begin. The staff quickly received him, the savage youth sat directly opposite Luo Feng. The two faced each other sitting. The savage youth's tiger-like eyes stared. It almost seemed like two beams of lightning were shooting out, making others not dare to make eye contact. Luo Feng however sat there like a dead volcano, silent, cold, emanating killing intent. This made it hard for others to even touch him. You are Luo Feng? Madman Luo Feng? The savage youth's voice was thick and powerful. With his eyes shut and silently seating, Luo Feng suddenly opened his eyes and looked at Savage. If anyone compared Luo Feng's appearance to the golden horned beast, they would realize their eyes and gaze were almost identical, cold yet filled with killing intent. 
The savage youth felt shock within, this madman, his killing intent is heavy, something the matter? Luo Feng spoke, yes. Savage nodded, his eyes staring at Luo Feng, the loser's circle matches, I'm very interested in the 9374 matches. This sort of high density matches will be useful to my training. I will definitely go participate. Luo Feng creased his eyebrows, this savage Rong Jun just said he wanted to take part in the losers' circle matches. What did he mean, you are admitting defeat? Luo Feng looked at Savage, no. Savage stared at Luo Feng, I've never had the mindset of admitting defeat. However, I will first defeat you. Then I will commit suicide and go participate in the losers' circle matches defeat me then suicide? Luo Feng squinted his eyes to obtain a slot in the name list is not difficult for me at all. Savage curled his lips, giving off a powerful battle aura, I require battle, many many battles. Constantly training myself, and improving. Hence, Luo Feng, I hope you don't disappoint me. Don't let me defeat you in an instant. Within the preparation room. Luo Feng closed his eyes and said coldly, relax, I will kill you directly, and send you to the loser's circle, I'm looking forward to it. Savage smiled. With his eyes shut and hearing these words, Luo Feng too revealed a smile. Just from a few simple words, Luo Feng and Rong Jun already had a good feeling of their opponents. They were two people who were similar. They had absolute confidence in themselves, never admitting defeat and indomitable in spirit. Battle. Battle. Luo Feng and Rong Jun both felt each other's powerful fighting spirit and their absolute confidence. Mr. Luo Feng, Mr. Rong Jun, please head to the alley to prepare. The battle is about to begin. The staffer came over and spoke carefully. Luo Feng and Savage stood at the same time. They exchanged glances, feeling each other's fighting spirit from within, following which they both headed directly to the alley. The entire arena was completely full. The people were like the ocean, all races of humans from the Trillian galaxies were all cheering loudly, from the Black Dragon Mountain Empire, the Madman Luo Feng. From the Golden Sword Empire, the Savage Rome June. The two of them are walking out now? The commentator was a man, his voice extremely loud, Madman, Madman, Savage, Savage. The spectators from the hundreds of millions of galaxies were incomparably excited. Compared to their actual names, their nicknames were actually much more accepted throughout. Within the arena, Luo Feng and Rong Jun faced off, the both of you should already know the arena duel rules. The commentator faced the two of them. This battle will determine who gets the slot on the name list. The winner between you two will get a slot, while the loser will have to fight in the loser's circle, engaging in a long tedious amount of battles. The two of you should understand already, then right now, let the battle begin. With that shout. The sound reverberated throughout the entire dojo. The commentator immediately vanished and the one billion spectators suddenly became silent. Everyone stared at the large arena which contained the only two participants in the center. The moment they heard the word begin, the two who had been suppressing themselves immediately exploded and unleashed their energies and auras simultaneously. The strong usually had to suppress their energies. Just like how Luo Feng could not randomly explode and release his energies in presence of his family. As for someone like a sector lord to suppress his powers, even after suppression, with one look anyone could tell that his gaze gave of an extremely strong willpower, causing normal star level warriors' souls to not be able to withstand it and crumble. Battle The first fight was between beliefs and willpower. Using strong auras and energies to pressure and cause fear in the opponent, affecting their state of mind. This was naturally beneficial to one in battle. Whether it was Rong Jun or Luo Feng, they had never met such a powerful opponent before, hence, the two of them simultaneously released their energies, wanting to use it to affect their opponent's mental state and to cause fear and doubt within him. 
Only with that sort of mental state would the opponent's strength potentially be reduced to only 60 or 70 percent of their full powers, Hong. Luo Feng's eyes became ice cold. A formless heart palpitating killing intent spread throughout, infused with Luo Feng's willpower and energy, immediately rushing at the opponent. A power that made people get distracted. Luo Feng was almost like a cold slaughtering absolute beast, standing upright and surveying the enemy, ha ha ha, Savage let out a carefree laughter, beneath his messy hair, his godlike eyes were locked on Luo Feng, Luo Feng, let's battle. Battle. An incomparably strong killing intent and energy immediately spread from him, a powerful fighting spirit infused with Savage's willpower, incomparably solid. Immovable. The auras clashed, the willpower and energies clashed, feeling each other's strength. Rumble, rumble. Beams of glaring and razor-sharp golden energy flowed out. Beams of heavy mountain-like ground yellow energy flowed and these energies covered both Luo Feng and Rong Jun, circling them as the centers. Battle, battle. Savage was like a war god from the universe, roaring and his eyes were gleaming red. Under the opponent's influence, Luo Feng's eyes were completely ice cold. His entire demeanor was like a beast being suppressed, clang. Brandishing of blades. Savage was barefooted. Every step he took had the strength and weight of 10 million kilograms. Even the arena with its diameter of 10 kilometers trembled as he took his steps. With just two steps, the tall and sturdy Savage had already reached right before Luo Feng and that blade infused with ground yellow energy sliced straight at him. Stepping on the soaring shuttle, Luo Feng fiercely retreated. His eyes staring hard, gritting his teeth, he squeezed out the words, kill. A golden light shot out from the dark golden long rod on his back. The nine golden blades with complex engravings on them swiftly moved. Threads of gold weaved through the entire body, swiftly forming a golden blade. Compared to the blade from two months ago during the elimination round, the current golden blade Luo Feng had formed was much more stable and formidable. Rumble. A golden rainbow shot toward Savage, break. Savage's expression struggled. He roared softly while brutally slicing straight at the golden rainbow. Under the pressure of his yellow energy flow, along with Luo Foam's eyes gleaming ice cold, the golden rainbow almost seemingly wanted to dodge this blade, dang. Even though it seemed like it was about to dodge it, that blade seemed to move a few inches and directly sliced that golden rainbow, causing it to be smashed away. The entire golden blade trembled for a bit, almost as though it was about to fall apart. Savage couldn't help but take a few steps back too, his grip on the blade too seemed to have weakened, big brother and second brother were right. This punk's attack is extremely heavy. There hasn't been anyone so far who was able to almost break apart my golden blade with just one slice. From far in midair while controlling the golden blade, Luo Feng's expression changed slightly, gold, as strong and piercing as the sun. Savage stuck out his tongue and licked his thick lips. Following which he violently roared, as though he was extremely excited, Savage, Savage. The one billion spectators and the countless people were caught up in the moment, all roaring with all their might. Within the arena, go and die? Luo Feng was still cold and not affected at all. As he coldly snorted, immediately the golden blade floated again and accelerated, becoming a golden rainbow and rushing towards Savage. Savage let out another roar and rushed straight towards it. His pace fluctuated. His silhouette became peculiar. Dodging time and again, it was completely erratic, swiftly closing in on Luo Feng, no matter what, I cannot let him get close. Luo Feng stood on the soaring shuttle and increased the distance between them. The golden rainbow once again rushed straight at Savage, clashing with him time and again, almost like moving the ground and shaking the mountains. However, Savage seemed to be borrowing the energy from the clashes to change his direction and swiftly closing in on Luo Feng. One had to know that at his level, 
one flash was a few hundred meters to kilometers of distance. And Luo Feng couldn't go too far, since with too much distance it would be extremely taxing to control his spirit weapon, which in turn would allow Savage the chance to draw close and attack. Luo Feng was after all a controller, a long-ranged fighter and not proficient at close combat, incredible movement. Luo Feng worked hard to dodge time and again, it was extremely dangerous. Luckily relying on the comprehension of the gold origin laws, using the soaring shuttle had gotten much easier and his speed and flexibility had improved much more than before, this Luo Feng is really quick at fleeing. Savage started to feel nervous. Normally I'm able to immediately close in and kill a controller. However, this Luo Feng's bored spirit weapon is extremely nimble and flexible, dodging me every time. The spectators in the arena, all one billion of them were all stunned by this scene. These two, one strong and brutal. Even though he was charging head first, his movements were very peculiar, almost like an invincible war god as he chased down Luo Feng time and again. The other was like an exceptional master, floating and dodging time and again against the opponent, making him unable to attack. At the same time controlling the spirit weapon to attack over and over. It was two completely different styles of fighting. One was a brutal fighter. While the other was a long-ranged attacker, Savage is too strong. If this madman slows down even just a little, just one slice would probably finish him, this madman is really strong. Every time he clashes against that attack, that savage's body will definitely feel the tremors. In fact, he may even be already injured. If this goes on, savage will definitely lose. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.